Hey guys, I got another video for you. So what I wanted to do in this video is pretty much just talk about the key differences between the wow loop and the do wow loop. Now this is another question that sometimes comes up on interviews and um, I basically just wanted to create a short little video explaining the key differences between these two loops. So the question is what is the difference between the wow versus the do wow loop? All right, so let's jump right into it. All right, so the first thing that we're going to be talking about is the while loop. Now, the while loop is a loop that allows code to be executed repeatedly based on a conditional statement. So a lot of you guys may already be familiar with the while loop and how it actually works, but generally the way it works is that um, we have a while keyword keyword here and then from there we have this boolean expression and the code inside this while loop is going to be executed as long as this boolean expression is true pretty straightforward right so let's get into an actual example so when we're dealing with the while loop assume that we have this code here we have int x equals 20 and then right after that we have while x is lesser than 30 then we're going to do a system.out.println value of x and then plus the value of x and then after that we're going to increment x by 1. So let's step through the first iteration of this loop and try to figure out what we're going to get. So we have while x is lesser than 30 so x is currently 20 so if 20 is lesser than 30 this boolean value will be true because 20 is lesser than 30 we're going to go system.out.println value of x will equal 20 okay and then after that we're going to increment x by 1 so this is our output here for the first iteration we're going to get value of x equals 20 and then we're going to increment by 1 and then it's going to then the code is going to jump right back up to this while loop here so x is no longer 20 x will now be 21 and then it, we're gonna do this check again if 21 is lesser than 30 which it is we're gonna print this out system dot out dot print ln value of x plus 21 and then from there we're gonna increment and this while loop is going to continue until this condition is not met now if this while loop continues eventually we're gonna get to the number 30 and then what's going to happen is this while loop is going to say while 30 is lesser than 30 so 30 is not lesser than 30 they're actually the same so if this condition is not met um, the, the, the um, flow of the program is going to break out of this while loop so as you can see here we start off at 20 and we end at 29 and this what I have here is basically just the output that I have on the right side here and if you realize here uh, it stops at 29 and it never makes it to 30 because this conditional statement has not been met and that's pretty much how the while loop works it's pretty straightforward if you have any questions about this make sure to leave them in the comments below all right so now let's talk about the do while loop now the do while loop is a loop that executes a block of code at least once and then executes the block repeatedly based on the conditional statement so the do while loop is pretty similar to the while loop but what happens is that the code the block of code is going to be executed at least once whether or not the condition is met so basically what this means is that the general flow of the program would first of all go into this do statement which the code is automatically going to be executed and then after that this while conditional statement here is going to be checked and then if this boolean expression is equal to true it's going to make its way back up to this code and execute repeatedly until this condition is no longer being met and another, and another thing to take note of is that if the boolean expression is true the control jumps back to the do statement which is pretty much what I just said but um, this is basically yeah it basically just states that if the while loop is true then the control jumps back to the do statement so that's pretty much how that works alright so let's get into an example right now so we have this example here we have int x equals 20 all right and 
what's going to happen is that in this do while loop, just like I said before, there's going to be an automatic execution of the code within this do. Whether or not the while loop conditional statement is true or false. So the general flow of the program, what's going to happen is that first of all, it's going to make its way into this do block and then it's going to go system.out.println value of x plus x. So the first value that we're going to get printed out to the console will be value of x 20. And then we're going to increment by 1. And then from there, the while loop is going to check for the current value. So the value will now be 21 since x was incremented. So while 21 is lesser than 30, which it is, we're going to execute this block of code. And then this is going to continue just like before until we get to the number 30. So as you can see here, we end at 29, but when it makes its way to 30, it's going to break right out of the while loop automatically because this condition is not being met. And that's pretty much how the while loop works. Pretty simple. All right, and this this is pretty much it, you know, as far as the as far as explaining the key differences between the do while loop and the while loop. So, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video if you've learned something from here. And also, don't forget to subscribe. And see you in the next one.